Hello and welcome to Diary of a Trader. Today's video we're going to go over how to implement the dollar index into your trading if you're a Forex trader. Uh, the dollar index is it's just a basket of, of currencies and they're dollar pairs and, and it rates the it shows you how is the dollar performing against that basket of currencies. Now most of the dollar index has the euro the euro US dollar pair in it. It also has the pound dollar, the dollar yen, and it has the the uh, uh, Swedish kroner in there as well. There's a lot of discussion about them, ha you know, uh, redoing the dollar index because it should probably have uh, the the uh, peso in there, the Canadian dollar, uh, the uh, the renminbi Chinese currency, and you know, balance it all a bit because it's it has not changed for a long time. But regardless. When we see the dollar index, it's giving us an idea of where the dollar is performing against other currencies, other dollar pairs. And how do we implement this into our trading? Well, we want to, if we're, let's say we trade the euro dollar. <clears throat> and I want to do a side by side comparison. So here's the euro, and then I'll put the dollar index over here. And if you don't have the dollar, if you don't know where to find the dollar index, we just go to uh, DXY and click on CFD. That means contract for difference, and it'll it'll give you this. And then just click on it; it'll put it in your watch list, and then you can get the dollar index right here. So what what we'll notice is that one great example, and th and uh, I think something that we'll all be able to to notice is that as the dollar index rises the euro falls all right if we look at the current price action right now if we were to highlight that zone we can see that we've had this is these are both hourly charts we can see that we've had three hours of a downtrend in those candlesticks and currently now it looks like we're having somewhat of a bounce we look over here we see really just the exact opposite of that move we have three hours of a rise in the euro followed by uh, a little bit of a top here forming uh, with some selling and this is pretty normal to see because you know the again most of the dollar index is weighted with the euro i think it's 50 to 56 percent of it is weighted with the euro so how does that work with other with other uh, uh currencies because you know we'll, we'll, there, sometimes it's not easy to catch a a change in the dollar strength when trading the euro because they're too sensitive one thing that we can look at is the pound dollar whatever currency is is uh, uh Whatever dollar currency besides the euro, sometimes we can catch a move that happens in the dollar index before we notice a change in another currency. And we sometimes kind of have to do this on a shorter time frame, like a 15 minute time frame. So this is the pound dollar on the left, and then here's the dollar index on the right. And what I'm looking for is some type of candlestick pattern or change that indicates we'll see some some move in in price before in the dollar index that would happen a little bit before we would see a change in uh, another forex pair so if i'm looking here see this was at 7:45 in the morning 7:45 in the morning that one wouldn't have really tipped anything off However, with the selling that was going on here, the selling t is, is kind of indicating that we had some selling pressure that was a little bit ahead of the game in the dollar index that we wouldn't have caught on the pound. So we could have capitalized on noticing a drive down on the dollar index by, by looking at a, at a long trade in the pound. These sometimes these will, the, these, uh, this is like an arbitrage opportunity if you want to consider it that. But sometimes we can get 
a view of this on the daily chart as well because not every not every uh, move that we see is going to have a a a, a inverse reaction so on the, on the pound dollar and then the dollar index what i'm saying is is that it is possible to have days where the dollar index is trading down and the pound is trading down but those instances are far and few between but when you notice them those are good signs that you should you should take the trade that that it's going to be going so what i'm what i'm saying is is that if you notice that the dollar index is rising and on that same daily chart you see a candlestick or or a couple candlesticks that are also rising when the dollar is at the same time that's a good indication that you're having a lagging move in in the in the pound dollar and that you can you you could safely entertain a short idea because there's a there's a a bit of a lag in the performance of of that pair if we look at the 1st of June where are you at right here here's the 1st of June and that's a bullish that's a bullish looking candlestick right well rather I don't know if it's a bullish candlestick but we we had we had a day where where there was more buyers than sellers and that is shared with the pound as well but what do we know about this? We know that as we were as we were were moving, we saw two large. Uh, we had we had a large sell off from a top. We're pretty top heavy here, and then we see the dollar index is actually starting to continue a move lower because then we had a shared bearish candlestick on the fourth. So both the dollar index and the pound had a up day on the same day and then followed by a down day on the same day. But where's where's this is where we use we use our traders intuition. We use some oscillators so we could use the the uh, uh, stochastic RSI on that chart and on this chart as well. And I'd like to bring them down. And certainly looking at it on these days, what what could we infer from these moves? Well, because the stochastic RSI was in a downward slope, we would know that the dollar index as a whole, because it's so weighted against other currencies, we knew that the euro was trending up heavily here, even though the pound wasn't that. We had a good idea that the conditions of our oscillators and the relative trend change that we noticed earlier in the DXY told us that a long entry on the close of the daily would have been a nice drive up. And that's exactly what happened. Now, again, you don't see a lot of these trade opportunities uh, pop up, but when they do, you know, you should notice them and pay attention to them. Certainly, one one of the nice ways to kind of gauge where is the if you trade a lot of the dollar pairs like the dollar yen uh the the gold dollar uh us dollar canadian dollar etc cetera, etc cetera, paying attention to the dollar index is a very very good way to kind of gauge the overall strength of of that currency with the pairs that you're trading and and that that can really help you determine your your intraday trades and your your macro weekly trades by gauging how the dollar index is is currently operating because certainly if we have a day where we're if we're up in the dollar index and we're up in another non euro pair like the like the pound dollar the canadian dollar aussie dollar new zealand dollar if if they're outperforming if if they're trading up during the day the same time as the dollar index is then we need to pay attention to those times because those those can certainly turn into good trading opportunities. All right. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to talking with you in the future with our future videos.